Um, it's quite frustrating. It's quite, it's frustrating. What is up everyone and welcome back to another Ref6 weekly vlog. This week we are on the line back at Eastbourne Borough versus Weymouth. I am with one of my best mates, Nick, who may or may not make an appearance. I know he's quite shy in the vlog this week, uh, but we are back in the National League. As far as I'm aware, we're not being assessed as well, which is quite nice. Um, so it's Monday today. Let's go for a week of training and I will catch you during the week. Good morning, everyone. So it's Thursday morning and um, found out that there is an assessor on the game now uh, for Saturday at Eastbourne Borough on the line, which is good because I kind of want to prove myself and get myself out of this aligning rut that I'm in, you know, in terms of, um, you know, not getting very good marks. So hopefully this is a good one to push on with. Um, it's Thursday, obviously coming out of the gym, just did a pool session. Uh, but obviously if you want a training plan, check the link in our description. Oh, and I'll, but yeah, in our description, I think it is. Um, and that gives you like a start a training plan to prepare for match day, as well as, you know, keeping fit in general, because my logic is if you want to respect the game and get respect from players, you should be fit to referee, not referee to get fit. But obviously, you know, that's my personal opinion. So, you know, match day minus one tomorrow, which will be a speed session with red again and then saturday i've taken two days off training because i've been away um, but i feel like i've got back into the swing of things quite quickly so so far so good this week and yeah looking forward to saturday now because, well i was looking forward to it anyway but now that there's an assessor on there it gives you a little bit more oomph really so yeah i'll catch you probably saturday morning for match day um, but you'll see a little bit of the training session on friday so see you then Good morning everyone, so it is 9am and I'm going to go out for a quick pre-match walk today, feeling good about the game, uh, obviously we're now getting observed, which is nice because I'm hopefully going to have some redemption again on this line, um, fingers crossed, um, no promises though, but yeah, pre-match meal, pack my kit bag and go, I'm meeting the referee at 12 o'clock uh, to get to the ground at 1 not ideal, but it is what it is. It's in East Spawn today, so it's about a 40 minute drive. So, but it gives me a chance to meet the referee and gain a little bit of relationship before we go. A bit too early for me, but that is what it is. Um, again, it's not my day, it's the referees. Um, I was just having a quick think about when my next middle is. I think it's next week, but that's not today's problem. So, let's get this show on the road. I will see you after my pre match walk. Okay, so here we go. We are going to pack the kit bag up as it's all laid out ready um, for a National League South line. Um, so this is all the gear I'm bringing. It's on the 3G today. So this is what I'm bringing. We'll start with the match stuff. So we've got socks. I've got my true socks and I've got my night socks, depending on how sort of regimented the referee is. Shorts, uh, new match top, old match top just in case. Under shorts, warm up stuff. I've got whatever colour this is, yellow, black, and a mid-layer. Spare socks, like, sort of, these, like, under-sock things. Box of tricks, wash bag, towel, boots, um, and then an undershirt as well. So that's all the stuff. I've also got a gel, which is there, and a water bottle in my bag, which is down here. So that's all the stuff today. Um, I'm just going to pack this up and then have my pre-match meal. Okay, as you can see, I'm all dressed and ready to go. And lunch is, with already a bite out of it, is a fish finger sandwich. So this is fish fingers, two bits of bread, some rocket and some mayonnaise and sriracha. Like I said, I'm running the line. This is probably about five, 600 calories. Um, so I've got plenty of gels. Hopefully the referee brings sweets, snack off them. Um, and I've got hydro tab as well. So in terms of everything, this, I. I'm on the line, I would like to keep it slightly lighter um, on game day and then have post-match and dinner when I get home. So, you know, like when I get home, it's a lot of a heavier meal. I eat more when I get home and I'm okay with that. I prefer to train fasted and I prefer to do football, you know, on vibes, basically. 
Um, so yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna eat this up and go to the ground. As you can see, I've got I've got time just about. Uh, my pre-match bonus is here, and I look forward to seeing you at the ground. Okay, so I've just been dropped off by the referee. Um, how did the game go? Went well, I think. 5-1 um, to Eastbourne, but I think that doesn't reflect the game. Um, I thought we did well as a team. I thought I did well. Two offsides in the whole game, like actual offsides, I put the, raised the flag, and two free kicks. So I got involved, felt quick. Um, you know, I just thought we worked well. I thought the referee was good in terms of... He, was authoritative as well as he looked like he was had good rapport with the players as well so they respected him which was good um i liked his warm-up actually it was very thorough very intense he's a fit referee in terms of like physically fit um and that showed as well he was quick he was up with play he was good i thought yeah i thought he was good um as a line, we got observed, but it's not till Monday. Um, so I don't really know how that's going to go. I'm just hoping, like, you know, you finish the game. I'm just hoping I get a decent mark because I can't have another just average poor mark because it's starting to become quite demoralising. So, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed it goes well. So now, let's just drive the rest of the route home. And then I've got golf tomorrow and an out for dinner with my mates. So it's a nice rounded weekend but i will catch you monday for the debrief fingers crossed <laughs> So it's 12 o'clock, well, it's actually 10 to 1 on Monday now, and we've just come off the debrief. Debrief went well, I think. Once again, no development points. But he said he gave me um, a tight offside. Uh, there was a tight offside in the seventh minute, I got involved in a free kick, a couple of offsides, and a couple of non-offsides. So, you know, tick a lot of boxes there with no development. So, if I'm still in this bloody bottom 10 by the end of the week, then it's going to be hell to pay because I don't really know what more I can do at this point. Uh, but it feels good. That's the, probably the best observation I've had in terms of feedback. Um, so, yeah, we'll take it on the chin, see how it goes. He said that the report will come out Wednesday. So, I will speak to you Wednesday to get the job done. So, hopefully, it's all good because now we're preparing for Tooting and Mitchum on Saturday. Um, so we're in the process of that. So obviously it's Monday. We can close the game off Wednesday uh, when I get the report in. But I'll chat to you then. Okay, everyone. So it is Wednesday now. It's taken two days because obviously the debrief was on the Monday. It was later. Um, and it's taken two days to get the report. So I have the report. Uh, this is the first time opening it. I'm nervous. As you can see, here it is. It says... This is the only part of it I can show you. Which is basically... The game, it was match 14. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Offside. Well, actually, no, no, no. First things first. First things first, we're going to go through ref of six and do my ref six stats. Um, because I think they were quite good from that game. Um, results. Eastbourne Borough versus Weymouth. Stats. So, around 4.2k, which is um, 
get rid of that. Um, which is actually better than normal. Um, usually I've been running about three and a half Ks. It's, it's been feeling strange and not good. I don't know why. Um, more in the first half than the second half, which is fine. Um, some really good sprints. So if I just show you these, look at these. Unbelievable. Um, so plenty of reds. Um, and obviously the ones coming in are me running to the referee at uh, half time, full time. Um, so the the orange one was at half time. I just checked, and the yellow one was at full time. So I obviously put more of an effort in at half time, um, which is fine. Um, so in terms of the game, I did all the cautions on the watch as well, um, and obviously the heat map is a big splodge as expected. But let's get into the stuff I know that you're dying to hear. Offside from the observer, expected. There's an orange comment. The orange, so orange means I can't get more, I can't get above a seven. It's like minor development. And if it goes green, that's what we want to try and avoid. Um, so this says, it wasn't necessary to indicate any active offsides. That is my minor development. Okay, right, next one, above standard expected. Uh, for awareness and correct interpretations of offside situations where the attacking player is offside but does not become active. Okay, fair enough. So he's marked me higher for um, above standard expected for non offsides, which is good. That's positive. Support the referee. Um, he said I was good with. Like clear that I it was clear that I maintained eye contact with the referee, and I followed his signals. Okay, nice. And then demonstrates the un, the laws of the game by get, providing correct advice. Standard, but I don't really know how to do that. So if there's any observers um, watching this, um, if there is, that's fantastic. Um, but can you sort of run me through? Get in touch, DM me, and maybe we can run through uh, a, a line of. Uh, observation because some of these things um you know like i'd like to work out how to improve my mark in by going through these little things so any observers out there please drop a comment or email me at john at ref com and we can have a chat because i feel like some of these i don't have a chance if you know has the confidence to offer advice when talking to the team like how are how am i going to know that like a lot of the referees say if you think it's a free kick buzz me rather than flag it, like, do I tell observers that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, who knows, to be honest. I've got no idea. Um, section three, generic skills. I have another orange, which is minor development. Um, clear and precise signals are held for an appropriate length of time, standard expected. And the comment is, don't forget, it isn't necessary to signal for obvious goal corners and goal kicks on the far side if the referee has them under control. I did it once in the 50th minute. Well, that's great advice. I didn't realise that I didn't have to flag them all. So, saves me energy and time, I guess. Um, so, that's fine. Uh, but I did get an eight, which is outstanding, which we like that, for well-placed to judge, able to sprint and rain, retain position and judge with accuracy providing confidence in the advice offers. He said, my movement was impressive. I showed my natural ability to switch from crabbing to sprinting when required. And then he needs to give timed examples. And he said, put it in the extra work to run the ball all the way down the line, which is something we got picked up at the start of the season. So it's good that we've managed to turn this net, that, that development into a positive. Um, so yeah. And he said, I remained calm and collective when signaling. Now the mark. The mark is, ooh, 72 and a half. Uh, how do I feel about that? Not, I don't know. The group average is 72.7. And I'm sitting at 72.3 now, I think. 72.33. So that puts me way behind the average still. Because... I had that 72 at the start of the year and I didn't do anything wrong, but 72 seems very much off the pace. So that could be it. You know, just sometimes you get 
an observer that has a lower mark. Um, but yeah, I'm behind the eight ball. Um, but it's improved. It's slowly improving. Like I haven't got anything. I haven't got more than one seventy two. I've just got a load of seventy two point seven fives. 72.5 sorry so I, it's just about manager expectations i think at this point um but yeah enjoyed the game i went out with one of my best mates nick um and really enjoyed his company for the referee was good um comes from the army fa and there's i've met a couple of them boys now weirdly like i've never met them before and a couple of them are two b's now um and they're quite good in terms of you know their demeanor they're like very authoritative they're very structured in their pre-match, which isn't very much for me, but it is for them. So I've got no issues with that at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, that's been the analysis part of the vlog. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you in a bit. So that is it for another weekly vlog. Not really any redemption for me in terms of how I feel on the line. Um, it's quite frustrating. It's quite... It's frustrating, but... From what I'm talking to referees about, you know, actually they're quite happy with my performance as a referee. Um, so in terms of I support them well and they're happy and that's really the main um, sort of advantage for me. I've never really enjoyed lines that much. I enjoy the standard of football. So I think I'm like as it stands, I know I'm a first year and things could change around in the second half of the year. But I definitely feel like lines aren't the way I'm going to go just because I don't seem to be able to find that 1% um, to put me above anybody else, really. Um, and that's starting to show. But it's a long old season. We've got plenty of lines to come. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you at the next Ref6 weekly vlog. See ya.